Hello, my name is Mark Junker. I'm the Tribal Response Coordinator for the Sac and Fox Nation of Missouri and Kansas and Nebraska. And along with Cynthia Nett and Eugene Goldfarb, we're going to be talking today about mapping traditional ecological knowledge uh, for the use in the NEPA planning process. The Sac and Fox Nation is located right on the border of Kansas and Nebraska, and we do have some tribal neighbors. Uh, to the east of us is the Iowa tribe, uh, just to the south of us is the Kickapoo, and we do have some land adjacent to their reservation along the highway there, Highway 75, and then a little bit further south is the uh, Prairie Band Potawatomi Nation. The Sac and Fox Nation is relatively new to the area. The first treaty that brought us here was uh, in 1837. The Sac and Fox originally came from the area around the Great Lakes, so the traditional ecological knowledge that we have uh, doesn't necessarily always correspond uh, to what you see in the Great Plains. Consequently, it's one of the barriers that we've encountered, and there's some other barriers too. When we look at mapping, uh, quite often you're going to need someone in your department or someone within the tribe that has some specialized knowledge relating to GIS and being able to create those maps that make sense to people. And even when it comes to planning, the tribe really doesn't have a specific strategic plan. And quite often when it comes to those, we're riding the coattails of different organizations, uh, especially places like the uh, Army Corps of Engineers. Today I'm going to look at four different areas where we did some planning uh, that utilized uh, a little bit of traditional ecological knowledge along with some mapping objectives to, to create a, a type of plan. And uh, one of the requirements of NEPA is to have an interdisciplinary approach. When one of our underground storage tanks failed up there along Highway 75, tribal elders did not know much about the history of the site other than it was once a wetlands. The highway built in the 50s bisected that. A pond was created and the wetland drained. The high water table brought about by increases in extreme precipitation events may have partly been responsible for the tank failure. The high water table may also be responsible for the lack of vapor intrusion at the site and may also contribute to the migration of the plume. We have 20 monitoring wells installed and drilled 20 other laser induced fluorescent wells so that we could better understand the uh, nature of the plume and release gasoline and plan a remediation strategy. Uh, the Google My Maps there looks at benzene and gasoline range organics at all the wells. We also conducted a prescribed burn at the tall grass prairie downrange of the plume to spur any new growth and hopefully uh, remediate contaminants while the courts and insurance companies waste time. Flooding has always been integral to any planning and large scale FEMA and state maps are pretty easily available. Uh, the small map in this slide showing our impacts of flash flooding from a two-day storm that dropped about six inches of rain last year. The ground was saturated so deeply that our septic tank backed up, ruining our gym floor. Water came off the streets and uh, flooded our trading post and two other buildings uh, needed carpet and subflooring replaced. Uh, these are events you don't see on a flood map. But we've started mapping reports and we can use that knowledge to mitigate future events. Uh, we'll be installing flood-proof doors and create alternate drain fields as part of our mitigation efforts. The same flooding event that occurred in reserve impacted our bison herd as well. Uh, you can see the picture on the left showing the flooding at its peak and on the right what it normally looks like. When the road is cut off like this, we have no way of feeding the buffalo. We have been cut off for as many as three days and during early spring, uh, when this happens before there is enough new growth, we risk losing newborns. The area behind the curve on the road uh, was also a cemetery for tribal members. The map was made using Google Earth to denote all the hayable acres on the buffalo farm. The curve on the bottom left of the map corresponds to the arrows on the road uh, there in the picture. Uh, emergency response planning. Uh, is a lot like trying to herd cats. You think you got a handle on it and then something out of the blue appears. On July 8th, we had 13 cars derailed behind the tribal council building. Uh, thankfully, no one was injured, but once again, climate change and traditional uh, knowledge impacted the events. Uh, the derailment was caused by a sun warp. The rail buckled in mid-afternoon due to high temperature and the train went off the tracks. During cleanup, we had another uh, 
unseasonal flood event that dropped uh, about eight inches in four days. Uh, the soybean field where the cars uh, were rested after being moved away from the, the siding uh, could have become a gigantic swamp, save the tribe installing a sump pump uh, several years ago to assist the farmers. And uh, here's where the, the cat comes in. Uh, two weeks into the cleanup, an excavator clipped a power line, breaking the pole, leading the pump in half and cutting off the power to the pump. Uh, more torrential rains fell, and the field is once again a muddy pit. The map was created in Google Earth as part of a site assessment for a tribal criminal justice center uh, we are hoping to build there in the future.